Charlo Green is a reporter for KTVA in Alaska, no relation to CeeLo Green, and she made some headlines over the weekend because she quit live on air to focus on something interesting. Now, everything you heard is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. All right, we apologize for that. We'll be, we'll be right back. I mean, uh, pardon for us. By far the best part of that clip was how shaken the poor anchor was when they came back to her. She has no clue what to do. That's what I love about local news shows. I love how bad they are. Because when you watch our show or other new media outlets, we like to make it as casual an environment as possible. I like to talk to you like you're sitting next to me and we're having fun and we're joking around. But the world of local news is the exact opposite all they do is sit there robotically all right thank you chet for the sports section of the show now let's get to weather is it sunny out there bethany <laughs> i like sun do you guys like sun it's all so fake so when they're off message you get back to the poor anchor she's like oh, i'm sorry we'll be right back by that i mean we'll stay right back uh, what do I do? Sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was just a fun clip. I mean, look, the reality is she was trying to get publicity for what she was doing. You succeeded. <laughs> Everybody's covering it. Uh, and also, she said she's the head of the Alaska Cannabis Club. I wonder how her four members are <laughs> enjoying her 15 minutes of fame right now. Seriously, how many members can there be? And by the way, somebody's going to send me a link and say, Ah, oh, got you, bro. 14,000 members. Dick. There might be. I really don't know. It just sounds like something that would have very few members. I don't see many people in Alaska really giving a shit about something like this in any serious, active way. But look, either way, I support her. That was a fantastic thing. I, too, would like to legalize marijuana. This is an interesting way to... Uh, uh, get some spotlight on the issue and to get people talking about the issue. But look, man, uh, we're at a point now in history where, just like gay marriage, the dominoes are falling for legalizing weed. Those two issues, it's over. It's game, set, match on legalizing gay marriage and legalizing weed, or at least decriminalizing weed, because we're seeing the beginning cracks and it's going to spread. And the conservatives, they might have this naive, silly belief like, no, we're going to hang on and we'll fight back. Well, it's not going to fucking work. You can try to fight as much as you want. But until we get to our end goal of legalizing it on a federal level, both gay marriage and uh, weed, we just got to keep fighting for it. Just keep fighting for it. And however you fight for it, I'm happy. I hope you guys evangelize. I hope you guys are dismissive of the morons that want to keep locking people up for nonviolent offenses. And this is a decent example of doing that right here. And it's a fairly comical example.